fit in a full size helmet like this. Hello viewers, uh, welcome to the channel. Now today we will talk about this top box. Now the best part of having this top box is that it is a lot more convenient than the side panniers and this is one of those boxes that I really like and I think you should probably have uh, rather than having a panniers it will be more convenient to have a top box in your bike. The problem with the side boxes is that you have to always op open these boxes to your side and everything that you put underneath these it's very difficult to look at them because you have to take all the materials that is kept on top and then only you can look at the bottom and uh, it's not that convenient as a top box the advantage of this top box let me open it up and show you before that let me show you how i have mounted this top box on this bike now the way that i have mounted this top box on this bike is different from uh, the other videos that i saw People have mounted this top box over here, removing this uh, backrest. Now I did not want to remove this backrest, I have kept it the same way as it is. So, uh, and the side boxes over here, there is another clamp that I have provided for the side boxes. I have connected this extra clamp for the top box on these side uh, clamps. Now the advantage of having this is because you can remove the top box if you do not want it. You can keep the top box if you do not want your panniers you can remove that and you can keep the top box so whichever boxes you want you can keep it and you can remove it now let me show you quickly how this clamp is done there you go that is the clamp now this is a studs uh, top box uh, you know clamp that I've bought uh, I think I'll put the prices on the description I think it's somewhere about uh, 200 rupees to 50 rupees something like that I've cut off a certain area of this uh, clamp and then I have welded another clamp from there to this clamp over here which the uh, side panniers are being uh, clipped on to. So there is a bolt over here so you can remove this and you can take this off and then you can climb it, uh, clamp it back so that your pannier still remains. So if you don't want a top box you can remove it, if you want to put it back on you can easily clamp it back on. Now let me show you from this angle, there you go and over here also now this is not touching over here on this panel on your side panel so there is no scratch over there so that is how I have clamped it and I have put a small uh, you know a clamp over here so that this top box does not fall down or it does not go up so you need to have something to stabilize uh, the, f the fall of your box so that is why we have got a clamp over here this has been connected from here and then it's connected to the uh, bolt over here which the se seat sits on. Now this is so sturdy that even if you push it, it does not fall or it does not move. This is just a reflector over here with the studs uh, badge on it. It does not have any lights but it's a decent reflector. You get a different shades on this panel over here. So if you check out the studs uh, website, I'll put the link below. You can get whatever shades that you want. So whatever side panels, your side panniers looks like, you can get the same color for uh, your top box as well. Comes with two keys. So this is how you open it. Unlock it, pull this down and there you go. That's how you open up. Now this is how the whole box looks like from inside. It's got a very good uh, tags over here on the side so the box does not fall over there. Now even if you open it, since the clamp is like this, there's still gap over here. So it still does not hit the uh, backrest, the bolts for the top box. As per the instructions, the load is only said to be kept under 3 kgs. But then since my clamp is very strong, I am still filling things till the neck of the box. So now the advantage of this box is whenever you want to move something, you can easily move from this side to this side and you can always pick up stuff. You can find things everywhere. Not only the luggage that you can fit in, but you can fit in a full size helmet like this inside the studs box and you can close it. There you go. Which is very good uh, during rainy season or anywhere that you want to go, you can leave your helmet inside this and you can leave. Which is a very good option. So this is a more uh, useful box than 
a pannier that's what I felt at least and if you guys think that's true do comment below from a far distance this is how it looks now I have not removed the backrest so that still stays there and the box the back side of the box does not hit on the clamp so even if it vibrates it does not hit on hit anywhere not even on the backrest so that was a very short video about the top box now you guys let me know what do you think about uh, the top box and how convenient it could be do comment below now thank you so much for watching this channel and i will come back with another video and do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so that you can get the updates on time thank you so much guys